Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about why I don't believe in equal partnerships, why I especially don't believe in 50-50 partnerships, and why you should never enter into either. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I've got a couple uh, quotes on uh, partnerships, and then I'll kind of break down uh, my, my core principles and beliefs and kind of really how to structure partnerships uh, in this video. The first one uh, is from an old mentor of mine where he said, don't partner out of insecurity. And I feel like that's probably one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they partner out of insecurity, right? I know for me personally, when you're starting a business, it can be lonely, it can also be frightening, and you feel like you need someone there um, to kind of validate what you're doing uh, and to tell you that you're doing okay and to help out. Right now, here's the thing. A lot of times that person can be an employee. They don't need to be a business partner. And by partnering out of insecurity, you're going to give up a lot of equity, leave a lot of money on the table. Uh, and also long term, you're going to be really frustrated because you're working with someone that you don't want to work with. Uh, and then the second quote that always sticks with me is from another uh, former mentor of mine. His name's Tommy Baker. He says, uh, I love ships. So this guy's got a yacht. Um, he says, I love ships. I love big ships. I love tall ships. I love long ships. Um, I love fancy ships. But Lord of mercy, don't put me in a partnership. <laughs> right? That was his stance on uh, partnerships. And I got to tell you, I've been burned on uh, multiple partnerships. So that is pretty in line uh, with uh, my stance on partnerships. Um, so I, I, I do not uh, partner in business with, with people anymore. And that's not to say I never will. This is my current stance because uh, I'm just a firm believer if you're a really, really hard worker, um, then a, a lot of times if you get into these 50-50 these partnerships, it's not going to work. Okay, So I kind of break into why I believe that and kind of what you should do instead. So 50-50 partnerships. There is no such thing as 50-50 effort 50-50 time spent, uh, and 50-50 value added. <laughs> so people just, when they go into a business partnership, the most common thing is like, oh, we just need to be equal. Well, the fact of the matter is you bring different skill sets to the table, right? If one person's doing tech, one's doing operations, what would you have to pay in the marketplace for that? Now, one way you can avoid a 50-50 partnership is to agree to pay yourself uh, market-based wages once the business reaches that point. Right, so then maybe one, one person is doing a job that you would have to pay someone 125 grand a year, right? And you're only doing a job that you would have to pay someone 50 grand a year, right? So now you can set wages, because I talk about this in another video on kind of uh, compensation, owner compensation, but you get paid a salary for what you do, you get paid a profit on what you own. So what you're doing in the business oftentimes should not affect the equity um, that you have in the business unless it's at the very start. So that's why uh, when it comes to 50-50 partnerships, like there's just no such thing. Like, and for me personally, as I'm someone who's very driven, very hard worker, I found that people were just riding on my coattails, right? So I had, th I had two business partners uh, and, and one of them was just dead weight and then it went down to two, and I'll tell this story uh, in another video on how to buy out a business partner, but then it went down to two and then went down to one. And what I found uh, in that whole process is I did exactly the advice of what I just told you not to do. I partnered out of insecurity. I didn't believe that I could do it on my own, and it literally cost me hundreds of thousands, maybe over a million dollars at this point by doing that. So I'm just a firm believer, do not, no matter what, uh, do an equal partnership. There's no such thing as equal, uh, equal uh, work, equal money. You know, obviously you need to evaluate how much money is this person putting in the business, how much sweat equity. There's kind of this equation in how much skill set or value is being added. What does that equation look like? And I'm totally fine uh, with partnerships as long as someone has a majority. Right, I'm in a partnership for another business I'm at where I'm definitely the minority, and that's fine because as I said to my business partner, this is your business, <laughs> right? You can veto me on every decision. I don't need to be the majority. I'm an advisor and I'm an investor, um, and this is your business, so you run your business, right? So that's why I don't believe in equal partnerships, and really what I think you should do instead is create a partnership that uh, resembles the work 
the money and the value that's being added to the business. So are you bringing sweat equity? Are you, being, are you bringing capital? Are you bringing some other form of value for the business as a whole? And is it absolutely mission critical? So that's one way that you can go or the other way that I've chosen to go for the most part is just not do business partnerships. Uh, I'm at the point in business now where I don't need to and I've got a lot of business partners. They're just my employees and I include them in a profit share. So they get a piece of the upside, but we there, there's no exchange of equity. Uh, and really, this is a, you know probably for a whole nother video, but in a business where your goal is not to sell, a profit share is actually better than equity because equity is only valuable if you sell, right? So they have something more valuable than equity, which is a profit share, and they're super happy. I'm super happy. I'm not putting a wedding ring on so, uh, you know, a day after I meet someone and saying, let's ride this thing out for three years and let's be business partners, right? Um, because obviously I've been burned multiple times uh, in that process. So when it comes to partnerships, proceed with caution. <laughs> Do not partner out of insecurity. Definitely do not go into a 50-50 partnership because like I just said, um, there's no such thing. Now this will lead to difficult conversations. <laughs> uh, and there was, there's been times where business partners I've talked to, I was 50-50 partners, where I said, hey, I'm working way harder than you. I put the capital in this business to get this business off the ground. Um, you're obviously not as motivated or, or you know, in this business. That's okay, just give me more equity. Like I'm fine to go 60-40, 65-35. If we just readjust the equity, I'm fine. I don't have any problems here and I'll keep working just as hard and we can agree that you're gonna work not as hard uh, and I'm gonna really kind of put this business on my back. But obviously that conversation is way harder to have after the fact than before the fact. So have that conversation of before the fact, set clear boundaries and you're responsible for this, I'm responsible for this, here are the equity distributions that we're gonna do, um, have an operating agreement. Uh, that's one of the biggest mistakes that I made is I went into business and I didn't have an operating agreement. Uh, and then as a result of all those things, I got really bitter and I felt burnt because I felt like someone was just trying to ride my coattails and my hard work uh, to success. So that's my advice on partnerships. Um, I hope that you found this helpful. As always, comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. I have a feeling that this is one of those videos that's probably going to stir the pot <laughs> uh, and people are going to think that, hey, there is such thing as a 50-50 partnership and you might totally disagree with me. Uh, if that's you, that's fine too. Comment below. Uh, let me know what you think and your rationale behind it and I'd love to hear from you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.